Okay guys, uh, working on my 03 F-150 and I'm changing the sway bar in links and uh, I've already done the one side and it was just stupid easy but what I'm using here today is this Moog problem solver kit and it's uh, part number K700-536 and what's good about this is the way it, it all bolts together with the spacer and I think what's making this easy and I, I admit I've never changed one of these end bar uh, sway bar end links but the way this here bottom bolt goes in the bottom nut it just makes it stupid easy so now I decided uh, actually it was suggested that uh, from a guy uh, off the F-150 forum to instead of fighting these spacers because mine's all rusted the bolts broke and it's a pain in the ass so I'm not even gonna try to fight it um, I'm just gonna saw through it with my sawzall It's that easy and just taking tap that out well the other side just fell out there we go now I don't know what's going on with this if I'll have to saw that or anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna pause that and uh, get this out I, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me get this one out I may or may not have to cut it but it looks like if I get that, well, let's here while I'm right here. Oh, can't reach it. I do have a pickle fork. Let's see if that'll get that out. Mm, nope. Gonna have to saw it. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and get this top one out. Okay, here we go again. Got that out, and uh, it was real easy. But this is what I want to show how easy this makes it. And like I said, I already have the other side loosely attached. Let me get under here. Oh, hell. That goes like that. Let's try to do it. Try to stay out of the way of the camera. Spacer goes on. Sorry, I know I'm getting in the way of the camera, but I just can't. Oh, shit. Can't do nothing with freaking gloves on, but it's 20 degrees out here. Okay. Put that in. And then your bottom piece, you use this that on there and just get it started and there you go now uh, 
instructions say to tighten this bottom nut up under here. Uh, you start off by just getting the end of the threads flush with the nut and then you go ahead and tighten it up to make it where uh, you have two or three threads showing. So anyway, uh, there it is. Just wanted to give you guys a little demonstration for somebody who might not have done this. I highly recommend this uh, MOOC uh, kit. So thanks for watching.